On uh, today's tutorial, we are going to make a drop down inside a sticky navigation uh, header. So you can see as you scroll, our header stays. We have a tutorial on that. Um, but if you were to click this, now you actually get a drop down that breaks outside of that header navigation, which is using auto layout. And we have little animated uh, uh, items within that. And when you mouse off, it goes away. Pretty cool stuff. All right, let's get into it. Um, so we've got our page here. So the first thing we're going to want to do is probably just create our navigation. So I'm just going to make a frame in here. Uh, it doesn't really matter the height. We'll give it 90-ish. We'll just set a color to that for now. And we're just going to leave that uh, at the moment. This is actually inside. I need it to be inside my auto layout. So. There we go. Okay, we're gonna leave that alone. Now we're gonna make a drop down component. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna write our text for it. Okay, um, we're gonna make it about 16, give it bold. Uh, and then we're gonna add just a little chevron. I'm just using a feather icon plugin. Bring that up. We've only got a height of about 20 on that, so we'll bring this down to 20 to match. Shift A, put that in an auto layout. I'm actually okay with the six spacing. Um, so that's pretty close. So you'd think normally that would be all our all we're doing for our um, our navigation item component component. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna name this text an icon. And then we're going to frame it one more time. Okay. And we're going to give it an auto layout. And we're going to call this our drop down. Uh, and you'll see why we do that in a minute. So now we can create that as a component. We're going to add a new variant. We're going to call this state open. And now we're going to do a little bit of work here <clears throat> uh, and then have to go back and just adjust it here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a fill. We're going to add our quarter radius of let's say six, and then we're going to add 10 padding here and five. Okay. That looks nice. We're just going to adjust this, make it a bit bigger because we'll need that in a minute. And then we're going to go back here. We're going to add our six, 10, five <clears throat> now everything's lined up okay so the next thing we need to do is create our items for inside our drop down so outside our component we'll type overnighter we will bring this into a regular icon. sounds good i've got uh, an arrow asset that i created so i'm going to drag that in and then again shift a We'll bring this into. Okay, that looks good. Uh, that's going to be our item inside our drop down. So we'll call this drop down item, make it a component, add a variant. And the only thing we're going to do on this variant is we're going to increase the spacing to make that arrow animate. So that's good. And then the first arrow will set the pass through to zero. Now on the first state, we're going to grab our prototype, drag it into here while hovering, and we'll do smart animate. And that's all you need to do. So back down in our drop down component, we can grab our drop down item. There it is. And we'll duplicate it, get out of the prototype mode a couple times here. So we'll call this weekender. off and maybe summer vacay <clears throat> so the only thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to break the padding just and give it a little bit extra uh, and we are going to turn this that way and now we have our open state and actually I think maybe what we'll do is we'll give it a quick quick drop shadow to 15 
Okay, so now to wire this up, we take our prototype tool. I'm gonna do this, you could do this on hover. I'm gonna do it on click for this one. So already we've got that. We're gonna get rid of smart animate and just do instant uh, for this case, because we haven't really set it up to animate in properly. Um, and then on our second state, we're gonna prototype it back to the first one. And it's gonna be on mouse leave. So when your mouse hovers away from that, it's gonna collapse. Okay. Now we'll zip on over to our, our navigation header. Um, we're going to give it auto layout. I had a logo in there, so we'll just draw a square in here for now. Black. Okay, so this has messed this all up. So we're going to give that fixed width. I think this can take 1280. I'm going to make sure all our stuff's centered. And now I'll just add a, a non drop down animation item in here or uh, uh, not animation navigation item we'll call it about that's about right and then we're going to add our packages one and we'll set our spacing to be a little bigger okay uh, this is looking good so then we'll take our navigation set it to absolute position fixed positioning when scrolling so now if you were to preview this, that stays still on click. Oh, that doesn't look right. I mean, our items are working, but it's expanding from the center and it's blowing our navigation up. So what we need to do to fix that is we pick our navigation header and we're going to turn this to fixed height. And then we're going to take off flip content. So now that's better, but it's still expanding from the center. And the reason it's doing that is because we have this um, set to center align. So any changes to this are going to change from the center. Um, so if we change this to top align, that doesn't look very good either. So we'll keep this as center. We're going to take our navigation items. We are going to shift A. We're going to give them an auto layout. We are going to set that one to top alignment. And now this messes up our about a little bit. That's not a big deal. We'll set fill the container and set it to center. And now because this one is top aligned, now, oh, that still didn't work. I might have to reset it. That's centered. That's top. That should work. Hmm. Still doesn't like it. I don't know what's going on here. If we do that. Does that work? Yes. Ah. I know what the problem is. This needs to be fixed height. Sorry about that. The container around your navigation items needs to be a fixed height. Make sure that clip content is also off. And now when you click it, it works as it should. So we have our animated items. You hover off, it goes away. And no matter where you are on the page, it works. So the key to remember here is if you want to center within an auto layout, um, navigation, you need to put an auto layout frame around your items, make sure it's got a fixed height, and then you can set that to the top. Uh, and then that will give you a drop down navigation item that comes outside the navigation. Hopefully this is helpful. Uh, again, if you've got a better way of doing it, uh, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe. More Figma tutorials are to come. And check out my other feature channel where I do stuff that's not in Figma and is outside. Thank you again. Have a great one, guys.